What killed more soldiers in World War I than enemy bullets? Infection. Before antibiotics, a simple cut could be your death sentence. Bacterial infections like strep throat, pneumonia, or infected wounds regularly turned fatal with doctors powerless to stop them. Everything changed in 1928 when Alexander Fleming noticed something peculiar. A mold contaminating his bacterial cultures was killing the bacteria. This accidental discovery of penicillin would transform medicine forever, though it took until the 1940s when Howard Florey and Ernst Chain developed it into a life-saving drug that could be mass-produced. The impact was immediate and staggering. Deadly diseases became curable overnight. Surgical procedures once considered impossibly risky, organ transplants, open-heart surgery, chemotherapy, became routine. Human life expectancy jumped by approximately 20 years. But we're facing a crisis of our own making. Decades of antibiotic overuse in humans and livestock have created superbugs, bacteria resistant to our most powerful drugs. A recent study predicts a staggering 39 million deaths from antimicrobial resistance between 2025 and 2050. Our hope now lies in discovering new microbial natural products, compounds with unrivaled chemical diversity and effectiveness against these evolving threats. Without them, we risk returning to a pre-antibiotic era where simple infections once again became killers.